Hello everybody, welcome to a special red video that I'm going to be filming. It is called The General vs. The World. Uh, there's a Mugen edit I have called Capcom vs. The World, and I decided to do the same thing in red with this lovely man right here, The General. Uh, per I'm just going to be shooting off characters at him, just seeing if we can do some damage, because this General AI basically requires you to gang up on him in order to be defeated. So we're going to be going through pretty much all the solid winning pairs of last video. So uh, we're going to have Kagami first, which is amazing, on Red Armor's level. It's great. Hajikaze is his Yeah, this song is pretty loud. All right, Kagami, Kagami can't... Kagami is able to block. I'm pretty sure Kagami had some kind of warp, warp technique. Okay, alright. See, see, I, I told you guys. Like, I'm telling you! The general, like, just... Jesus Christ, he's so broken. He's so goddamn broken. I just checked if it was filming. Like... And keep in mind, again... General at max potential is pretty much impossible. It's just nobody's ever gonna crank it that far. Oh, yeah, right, that happens. He calls everybody a foolish brat. Uh, alright, let's see what kind of damage Koryu can- I know that Kagami and Koryu aren't gonna do very much. It's when we start throwing, like, the champions and whatnot at him. Right. I'll see if I get claimed for this song. <laughs> Alright, Koryu is kind of stuck. And could have escaped, but instead volunteered to just shoot his bow and do stupid shit. As opposed to actually trying to escape. Okay. There you go. That stage is from Dragon Ball Fighters, and uh, I love it. Uh, I think we're gonna throw. Uh, I'll throw. Let's go for Kyrie. Well, actually, no. Kyrie's along with Dark Champion. So, I'll go Scion Brainiac first. So, let's throw Scion at him and see what happens. Alright. Oh, I hope I don't get claimed over KI3. I hope to God I don't get claimed over KI3. I swear to God. If my computer can run KI3, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. I want to play that game. Alright, Scion has a similar teleport in generals. It just... It just has a few more frames of startup. So, it's not as useful. I mean, Scion can get a bit of chip damage. That's about it. For the most part, General just always lands in a clean strike. Every time Scion wants to try to hit him, it doesn't end up working because General just hits him first. Like, you saw what happened right there. Like, he just got totally crushed by just an influx of attacks. Oh, he got Brainiac. Uh, let's see what happens with Brainiac. Yeah, talk about a lazy stage, huh? 
This is what you call eye bleeding. <laughs> General Queens. Well, a Brainiac just can't do anything. Because pretty much all a Brainiac clean damage is coming from uh, meter from during his matches, so. I know this wasn't gonna work. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna conjoin these next two pairs together because I'm gonna throw the softballs of their pairs first. So, I'm gonna elect Kyrie. Let me try a different button to get a different color out of Kyrie. Okay. That's a neat color. Alright, we got Mataro's level. Anyway, if Kyrie. Kyrie's able to get some. Did this teleport? Like, Kyrie's teleport is, like, again, like, if they have a teleport, just none of them are as good as generals. If they have a teleport, it's not as good as generals. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Oh wow, Kyrie tried to demon general. If that would have happened, I would have given Kyrie the W right there. I would have seriously just given him the W. Because good god. <laughs> that was dope. I'm not even gonna lie, that was pretty dope. Uh anyway, let's throw Co um let's throw uh Goku Black at him. Maybe if I hit this button I get white Goku Black. No, I got Goku Goku Black. Never mind, I get GT Goku Black. That's bizarre. That's a weird combination. There you go. Alright, Goku Black is experiencing a similar thing to what happened to Koryu. To where you get just stuck and blocked for like several years, and then General goes for a dive kick, and then they just do something stupid. And then die. Like, that's their fault. They can't seem to get their act together. Oh yeah, and the computers pretty much never recognize that you can't cancel out General's projectiles. Wow. Just wow. Well, General actually is a perfect soldier in this case, so, you know, whatever. Anyway, now we got the, um, the heavy hitters. This is where the true work is gonna get put in. Dark Champion. Let's see what happens. Ooh, and I love this theme, and I love this, this area. You see Thor? See, like, General versus Dark Champion, like... See, it's all about the design of Dark Champion and, like, the champions in general. Wow. You would think general at max potency AI would just teleport through that. Oh my god. Oh, there's, um, Scarlet Witch. Alright. Wow. Even for someone as campy as a uh, Dark Champion, like... And even then, whatever Dark Champion does pull, it never does enough damage. Okay, I mean, he is taking off chunks of- uh-oh. Here comes the edit- the edited crush grab. And he landed it. Because, of course he did. That's death. Yep. It's a swift demise for Dark Champion. Yeah, basically when you face General in arcade mode, you're practically getting the real thing. Like, he's an iron wall of just total assness. Like, look at this. Look the way Dark Champion has to play against General. That's the only way he can get damage. Yep, 
Yeah, that grab does about 80% of your health bar. But VC might actually take... Yeah, he took the round. Because, I mean, you saw the way Dark Champion had to play that, right? If this was me, I would teleport through this nonsense. Yeah, General never jumps out of the way. General doesn't j jump out of the way. Yeah, Feudal told me. I'm pretty sure, like, yeah, he told me that Eternal and Tart, like, Eternal Champion, Dark Champion. Like, he told me that East, like, Eternal Champion. Maybe not Dark Champion, but probably also Dark Champion. Um, and End to Deathbringer were, like, the only characters in, like, fighting game, like, only, like, legit fighting game bosses, like, that even had a, well, even had a remote chance of taking out General, like, probably if somebody knew how to play Dark General, or Dark General, that was a thing, then, you know, the universe would implode. Dark Champion, if somebody knew Dark Champion pretty well, then... I bet they could take out General. Same thing with EC. Same dang thing. Right, let's go to the internal champion stage. Because he has one. the attack. That's the attack that does damage to General, right there, is that wave attack. Or a combo can just ruin him. Wow. Eternal, Eternal Champion can set up his own invincibility barrier. Wow. Holy God, wow. Um, okay. That's great. Uh, if only End of Deathbringer had a sprite, I would seriously throw him in if he had a sprite. Uh, anyway, there you go. That's all the characters that we had last video, uh, that were able to beat him in combinations. All of them were taken out by General, uh, one-on-one. -on -one. That's how you can tell. Now... The thing is, is that I have a few contenders for... for let's, do, let's throw some characters from the arcade ladder at him. Because why the hell not? Um, should, we, should we go unknown? Let's go unknown. Because unknown always gives me trouble. So... Because unknown, uh, gives me an unrelenting amount of stress, but, uh, that's just me, I suppose. Now you may be like, oh, this is a reused theme. No, this song has Akuma's name first. So I credit it to Akuma. Especially because in this part of the... Because this scene is from the uh, SF2 animated movie. It's when they're all fighting Akuma, I think. I could be wrong. I haven't watched that movie. But pretty sure they fight Akuma at the end. Uh, anyway... Uh, should we throw Ogre at them? I'm gonna throw Ogre at them, because mostly Devil Jin, Kazuya, and Heihachi are meant to be softballs. Like, uh, Unknown and surprisingly Ogre are meant to be the really hard hitters. Okay. Ooh, the I or no, this is the Lord Zed level. I lose as a moon. Which I know, not source accurate, both of them should have the same stage, but... Literally, the only difference is that uh, Ivan Ooze has a song, not a stage. This is Lord Zed's area. I mean, you can see Serpentera right there. And yeah, Ogres are in 
trashed, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Took him, what, less than 10 seconds to get beat? Like, just, holy god. Uh, yeah, I nominate Alpha Shinakuma to try to do the thing, because... Shinakuma can do a world of hurt. Except here's the thing, he can't land anything against the general. Oh, there's Barlog. What's he doing in there? What the fuck is Balrog doing in there? If you super jump, you can see Guile, I think. Is that Guile? Look like him. But unfortunately, the camera don't zoom up in this game. Whoa, the alpha counter! Yeah, wow, I didn't think of that. Alpha counter does come in handy right there. Like, at this point, if this was a human being, like, if you were stuck in this kind of shit, that's what I would have already done by default. Like, I would just trap him into doing that and then trying to build up some kind of defense off of it. Or some kind of offense off of it. So Akuma can do stuff, it's just... It's hard. Especially because it relies on you getting chip. Chip damage. Chip damage to get meter. So that you can do your alpha counter. Alright. Let's get Alpha Eryu in here. Let's get Alpha Eryu in there. Because... He's a beast. Uh, this is, has to be Goodman's level. It's taking too long. It has to be Goodman's level. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, amazing. Stupendous. Okay, never mind. Uh, either you got nothing I expected him to get. Uh, stage three is the KOF boys. Uh, let's throw the new Magaki at him. See what happens against new Magaki. Oh, this is what Neil wanted, actually. This is for Neil. Let's see what orange creamsicle Magaki can do to, um, general. Probably nothing, but... Expecting nothing. Oh, no! Ow! <laughs> Magaki's so dumb. He's such a dumbass. Like, what the? Why is he just? Why is he just the dumbest motherfucker? Wow, he actually landed in a fireball. Something. Like that. He got something, I guess. But general just fucking runs circles around him. Alright. Alright. I think it's time for Ignis v. General. Dude, I'm gonna try to find Golden Ignis. Oh, that's... There it is. And Max said he had issues with lag. Alright, Ignis can jump above General's fireballs. Cause I don't even think some characters can even get it out get over General's fireballs. Oh 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 my oh my god! Wow, that was a sick-ass combo. That was a fucking sick-ass combo, not gonna lie. Stage 4 is the, um, MK Boys. Yeah, it is the MK Boys. Alright, let's see what an Emperor can do to a General. Let's see what, ha let's see what happens. This has to be blue. Green. 
Round one. Fight. Green Shao Kahn. Oh, what a shock. Shao Kahn doesn't do anything. Round two. Fight. Probably because General literally can just mash a button. And because Shao Kahn doesn't get knocked back any, he just dies. Well, ain't that disappointing. Let's go to a level where it actually kind of benefits him. Let's go to Chrysalid's level. Bow to me. Round one. Fight. Let's go to Chrysalid's level. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Everyone who says Shao Kahn is hard. Look at what he's do what look at what's going on to Shao. There is no way he just did that little damage. He can't even hurt the general! He can't even hurt him! Okay. I'm not gonna throw Sha Shang Tsung at him. Oh my god, wait. Oh, Mataro could actually do a thing because of the whole fireball reflection nonsense. Yeah. Because when, when General... Oh, wow. Yeah, when General throws fireballs, that happens. I don't know why my Mataro does that, but I'm never going to change it because it's funny. It's funny when that happens. Because, like, I want to see people play this game and just rage. That's all I want to see, is just people rage in this game. Wow, Mataro might actually be able to do a thing, simply because of how broken he is. Because of how broken this fireball shit is. He doesn't take any damage, by the way. He takes no damage from this shit. I, I'm, I'm still leaning to believe that General can still pull, pull out a victory from all this. Wow, he got shot in the feet and died. So, 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 so far, only two characters have been able to take a round off of him, which have been Mataro and Dark Champion. Uh-oh. Literally, General could have just sat there and tapped buttons, and Mataro would have been ripped. Like, here's the thing. If General just knew how to get in the slide kicks the whole time... Like, General could just do slide kicks the whole match, and Mataro, if he didn't block, wouldn't be able to do anything. He wouldn't be able to do anything. But because this AI is so inclined on using Fireball... What? 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 Huh? What? What? Um, what? Uh... Well, if they run the timer out... Oh, they run it. Alright. See what I mean? General is more content fighting at range, even though that's not working. So I think, yeah, Mataro presents a pretty good AI flaw right there, is that... Sometimes... Wow. Wow! Oh my god. Okay, there you go. Mataro just took down General. Be be just simply because of how broken he is. Simply because of his busted bullshit. I will claim billions of souls for the con. Okay, there you go. So, yeah, that is General versus the world. Uh, look at it. It took tw oh, 20, almost 25 minutes to take down the General with, like, God, I don't even know how many characters, because two characters for four pairs would be eight characters. And then two characters for four stages. So that's eight and eight. That's almost 20 characters it's taken to take down the general. But you know what? We've done it. We've taken him down quite unfairly, but we took him down anyway. Uh, but still, that's just a testament to how broken General is. Like, pretty much only, like, 5% of this cast can even scrape at beating General. So, uh, yeah. That, that's why I put General here, because he made me so angry that I had to put him in this game for other people to suffer. 
But anyway, we're gonna do one more exhibition match video. So throw your um exhibition match suggestions in the comment section below. Uh, and then once we do that, then uh, I might just do some uh, last minute revisions. And then I will be releasing Red 2.0. And it shall be glorious. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.